turn to a beast when I'm repping. Hello, this is Eden with Helix VR. Today we'll be reviewing Beat Saber, a rhythm game for the HTC Vive, Oculus Rift, and Windows Mixed Reality. This is launching into early access today, with plans to complete the final version before the end of 2018. PSVR seems to be a future plan, but there are no dates for it yet. Whether you're interested in VR or not, you may have heard of Beat Saber from the viral Lightsaber Girl video by Swan VR from the Live team. Videos like this can be made with the free Live software, which I'll link below. Now, the basic overview of the game is that you have to use your lightsabers to cut blocks in the correct direction, with timing to the music. There are obstacles to dodge, such as bombs and walls, which will have you dodging left, right, and down to avoid them. As you cut through the cubes, your haptics will activate to indicate a successful cut, and you will see the amount of points scored. Some people have been referring to this game as Lightsaber Hero, basically Guitar Hero but with lightsabers. I personally phoned it closer to Dance Dance Revolution just due to how physical it is and that you need to choose the right direction. Now, Beat Saber currently has 10 songs and 4 difficulty levels. I personally phoned that the easy mode and normal modes were fairly low difficulty. Maybe I'd miss a couple of boxes if they suddenly moved. Hard was a decent challenge, and Expert quickly overwhelmed me. But it didn't seem out of reach with a lot of practice. At the moment, this game only features arcade style modes. You have to clear individual levels and get both a score and a rank at the end. There are a few variants on the standard mode, such as a mode to play with just one saber instead of two, a mode with no arrows, and a party mode to compete with friends locally. One saber mode only features expert difficulty and five of the ten songs currently, but I've personally found it easier than regular expert mode and managed to complete one song first time. For competition, there are also leaderboards so you can see how you measure up globally, against your online friends, and locally. Now, before coming out of early access, they are hoping to add a single player mode with missions or challenges. In addition, they plan to add some more songs, though the number is currently unknown. Another upcoming feature, which is at the top of my personal wishlist, is a level editor. They are planning to add one with music streaming service integration so people can make their own custom beatmaps and any song they want to. YouTube and Spotify were mentioned specifically. Unfortunately, this feature may not make it to PSVR. The developers have said they do not know if it is possible due to the platform being more locked down than the PC and issues loading custom songs from external sources. Notably, there are no plans for auto beatmap generation as in Audio Shield. They want to keep the quality high with beatmaps perfectly matching the songs. While I do not know this for certain, I suspect that the PSVR version may be delayed until these features are implemented and the end of early access. Now, this is just based on a talk with a PSVR developer about the difficulty to developers in pushing updates to the games in the PS Store. Now, as a quick tip for those chasing high scores, it is not enough just to do an accurate slice with the correct timing. Our initial testing seems to imply that power or speed counts for a higher base score. A slow weak slice may score about 50 points, while a quick powerful one may score over 100, not even counting combos. The graphics are pretty simple in Beat Saber, but everything looks great in game. The sound is the important one in this type of game though. I personally have mixed feelings on it. The general game sounds are pretty good, but the music isn't to my personal taste at all. Some songs are better than others, but none are really great to me personally. A live streamer who's also been playing has felt the same. That said, I've been finding it fun enough that it's not causing any issues between the beatmaps being spawn, the method of attacking the cubes, and the movement. It's definitely my top rhythm game. With custom beatmaps, it'll be even better. I can't wait until I can play Dragon Forces through the fire and flames in Beat Saber. Beat Saber is set to release at approximately 20 US dollars. No word on other currencies at the time of recording. It has a decent amount of songs and comes in around the same price as Audio Shield and Hollow Dance. There are both cheaper and more expensive rhythm games out, but I feel it's worth the price, and will only become more so as more features are added. That said, it has been noted that the price may increase in the future after adding more content. To summarise, I definitely recommend Beat Saber if you enjoy rhythm games at all. It seems like it'll make a great party game too. If you'd like to see more Beat Saber, check out our livestream which I'll link below. Once again, this was Eden from Helix VR.
If you'd like to see more content like this, please remember to like and subscribe.